In today's shortcut, we're gonna list Pacific times and Eastern times for a series of events super fast. The shortcut to explain, get event times. First thing it does is grab calendar events from the next seven days. It lets me choose which of those calendar events I want to include. But you can see it allows me to select multiple events. Then it's going to repeat with each one. That means with each of the calendar events that I provide it with, it's going to do these actions. What it's getting is the start times because this doesn't just get the calendar event start times, it gets them and converts them. Of course, it's grabbing the calendar events from my time zone, which is Pacific, and then doing the calculation to make it into Eastern. If you're in a different time zone, you'll have to adjust. And then it's going to add three hours to the start time because you can actually adjust the different times that you're given. I'm gonna format it so there's no date, just the time. Then it's gonna show the times in Pacific. Those are the ones straight from my calendar. And then there's the converted times. That's the Eastern time. Then it ends it, takes that time, copies it to the clipboard. That way I can pick a bunch of events and have them show in both Eastern and Pacific time. And it copies to the clipboard so I can put that in for any event. It's something we do a lot for the ADHD Guild because we try to give our times in both Pacific time and Eastern time, hoping people can do the math fairly easily if they're in between. Let's run the shortcut. Say lunch break, why not? And here's what it looks like. It says the date, it says the time in Pacific, and then in parentheses for Eastern. That's the shortcut. Did it give you any ideas? Is this the kind of thing you can use, being able to post multiple time zones at the same time? Let me know in the comments. Doing the bird's hands again, it's awesome.